Damon Markowitz along with Bruce Landon on the road this week, another edition of Falcons Web TV as we come to you from Steve Sports in West Springfield. Great hockey artifacts, a little miniature Hall of Fame here as we spent some time before we went, we went on air here to look at all the jerseys, all the memorabilia here. Just a great room if you're a Springfield hockey fan. Uh, befriend Steve because he'll give you a tour and it's, it's certainly a great spot to look at. And a topic that came up on Facebook uh, this past week as part of the chats was an all-time Falcons theme night. Uh, tying in a little bit, of, we talk a lot about the Springfield Indians and going back that far, but uh, there's some fans on there that remember uh, the Brad Tileys and the Manny Legacies and Scott Lankows and um, Radislav Suchi's out there. And <laughs> Are there any plans to do uh, kind of like an all-time Falcons theme night this year? Not yet. Mm -hmm. uh, be quite candid. It's not a bad idea. I, I, I think our, if our focus is to try and sort of, um, in, this year coming up, to focus on sort of hockey history in Springfield, mm -hmm. uh, maybe that's something we do. Uh, if all goes well in our 20th anniversary, I think we're going into our 18th year okay. as the Falcons, if memory serves me right. Uh, maybe that's something we do in our 20th year. But uh, you can, you know, as you know, Damon, all these things are great ideas. They all take time. They all take resources, both, both you know, financial and uh, personnel to pull it all off as well. So, uh, you know, one step at a time, but I think it's a great idea. But I think maybe that's something we reserve for maybe our 20th anniversary, assuming everything goes well, mm -hmm. which I'm expecting it will. And... Uh, that we'll be able to do that at, at some time then and let the fans get involved in maybe picking an all-Falcons team. Absolutely. And thanks again for everyone. Once again, another great week on Facebook. A lot of topics keep coming in. Don't forget to join us, uh, our official Facebook page, our official Twitter page. Go to falconsahl.com. On the bottom, you'll see a link to both. Both updated hourly, daily. Uh, that'll be going on all spring and summer as we keep in contact with the fans out there. It's been a great spring so far with, with information and uh, using these social media tools that we haven't had over the course of time. Now they're here. They're here to stay. And uh, we're certainly using those and a lot of great topics coming about. And uh, a topic that isn't necessarily on the Facebook chat this week, but uh, something that uh, is going to start this week, the Spot Screech promotion. Right. Uh, tease that. That's going to be starting up uh, on Facebook. Just a, a quick recap on your thoughts there as we start this promotion and what it means for the organization. Well, I think it's great. I mean, uh, it's very important for us to, to keep our name in the public during the months as we go forward here in May, June, July, and August, certainly, and into, into training camp next year. You know, there will be some hockey news coming out eventually with free agency and some things that will be going on between Springfield and Columbus and some signings, but those things take place in the middle of summer after July 1st. But I think it's important for our franchise and for our fans that we stay connected with the community as best we can during these sort of down down months of the hockey season. And I think the Screech, as we talked about last week, uh, you know, Screech is synonymous with the Springfield Falcons. So having running this promotion that you've put together and uh, with, with Steve Hanjack here to to get Screech out, get them visible, uh, running a contest, giving fans a chance to interact with us and win some prizes while they're doing it. I think it's just a fun one that, hey, we're here, uh, we need your support. Uh, if it helps us sell a couple season tickets and, and, and engages some more fans in, in what we're trying to do here, that's that's the key purpose of it all. And I think it's a fun thing to do, and I'm looking forward to uh, look forward because you've kept me in the dark. Uh, as I am on a lot of things, as to as where Screech is going to be. So uh, maybe I'll be signing up to Facebook when I find him somewhere. He'll be out this week. In fact, today he'll be out uh, out and about. In the, whether it's rain or shine, he's going to be out there. doesn't matter to him. He likes the rain, so if he gets a little wet, so be it. And he's a hockey bird, so it doesn't really matter. <laughs> so he'll be out, and then there'll be a fun promotion that we run. And uh, that promotion kind of ties into something internally that we're working on uh, as far as season tickets and a season ticket campaign that we want to – kind of emphasize and get out there. I know there's nothing that we've made officially public right. yet, but uh, how much can you tease a little bit as far as a campaign that we're working on internally here as we move forward into June? Well, all the pieces are coming together. Uh, I'm working with an outside party to help uh, sort of tie tie some things in together here with us on, on how we're going to put it all together. I mean, some people may say, well, you're, you're in the middle of May and you're starting this. No, we've actually started, as you know, our season ticket renewal program started February 1st and the call started on new, new accounts uh, as well. But we felt there, that it was important to sort of launch a campaign and let the let the, the fans of this area know that sort of what our goals are. I mean, we, we have to achieve certain goals. I mean, this is all fun. We do these things. They're all great. Uh, they're an important part of what we do, but we have a business to run as well. And uh, we have to build our business. And in talking with Charlie, uh, we've, uh, we've really uh, analyzed our business uh, from you know every line item on our, on our budget and where do we have to grow the business and and it's no secret I've said this many times we have to grow that sort of season ticket base and and not just full season tickets but as our, our sort of slogan says every ticket counts so whether it's somebody buys a six game plan a 12 game plan a full season ticket one of the new business plans we're offering it all helps us get that number we need and uh, so we're gonna be launching a program I'm hoping 
uh, that sometime by the middle of next week we'll be starting to do a little uh, a little publicity on it, uh, maybe a little mini press conference and uh, set our numbers, which we feel Charlie and I feel when we when we set the number, it's a number that we think should be achievable for this marketplace. But we think it's a number that's very important to, for us to be a viable member of the American Hockey League. And uh, we've went through one of these campaigns before, a little different uh, uh, purpose at that time. Things are different now. But uh, again, we're sitting here in Springfield. Uh, and again, you can some fans can say, well, you haven't had success on the ice, therefore, what do you expect? And I understand all that. We've, we've talked that to a blue in the face. But we still have to run a business. We have to reach our numbers. And to grow our numbers, uh, which, we, which we have to do, uh, is is going to be important to the long term viability of this franchise, and we'll launch that next week. And I think it's gonna be a, I think it's gonna be fun. Uh, let people know where we are, and we'll sort of every week on our website we'll give people an update as to how we're how we're getting there and where we're going. And uh, like I said, the number is doable. Uh, it's not a number like they're doing down south of the border here, down in Connecticut. They're mm -hmm. they're going after three thousand. Uh, we're saying hey, we we got to get to a fifteen hundred number. Uh, if we can get to fifteen hundred. We'll be happy. Uh, fans will be happy because I think that will really solidify things here for for the long term. Yep.